Hey, welcome back to another item review. I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be reviewing this lovely set of phone camera lenses. This is the Pictech Fisheye Lens 3-in-1 cell phone camera lens kit, including a fisheye lens, a 12x macro, and a 24x super macro lens. I'm actually really interested in seeing what this really is going to be like. I've never used, uh, excuse me, I dropped something. <coughs> I've never used a set of lenses for a phone before. So I'm, re I'm really interested. Oh, this is very nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay, so inside the box. Oh, so I guess it's a three piece single lens. And you just take the pieces off in order to use the rest of it. Uh, it's compatible with uh, every single smartphone ever created. Okay, with the camera. Alright, so listing off the iPhone 6S, 6 Plus, 6, 5C, 5S, 5, 4S, 4, iPod Touch, 5th Gen as well as the Galaxy S6 Edge, S6, S5, S4, S3, A7, A5, Galaxy Note 4, 3, and 2, along with the BlackBerry Bold Touch, Sony Xperia, Motorola Droid tablets, the iPad Air 2, 1, iPad 4, 3, 2, and iPad Mini 3, 2, and 1. This product may not be compatible with all smartphones or tablets. I would venture to say it's compatible with just about everything. Alright, so specifications in the book say that it's 180 degree fish islands. Everything else is pretty much, you know, what it says. A 12x macro and a 24x super macro. Ah, let's see here. There is a nice little lanyard loop to uh, carry this around, your little touristy thing. So, lanyard loop. Alright, very nice. It's, it's kind of a pleather, a rubberish leather kind of a feel. No, it's definitely plastic, but but you know, it's the it's the look and feel that count really. It looks very nice, very sleek, and it's it's actually kind of a hard. It's soft to the touch, right? But it's a solid case. It's not um, it's not a solid plastic. It is a uh, hard foam, very hard foam. So you got some somewhat of a give, but you don't have enough give to damage the lenses inside. Uh, the zipper is solid. It's got a hefty zip to it. Oh my goodness. Sounds like a camera case. Boom, look at that. Inside you have uh, not really felt, but yeah, it's felt. Over here. Oh! It comes with a carabiner. I don't know about that. I guess a carabiner to use on the, uh, on the case. Let's check it out. All right, a carabiner to use on the case. Look at that. Very nice. And just hook it to your bag, I guess. Awesome. We'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. Let's take a look at the other stuff. Two camera or two uh, lens clips. I'm guessing they are about the same size, if not the exact same size. Yeah, exactly. They're they're the same size. Okay, so you just get two of these guys. Sweet. A microfiber lens. I don't even know where I'm going to pull it out. Anyway, and microfiber uh, lens cloth, lens cleaning cloth, which is very nice. lenses. Ooh. <laughs> is that what... Okay, so for those of you who have had these before, is that really what happens in all of them? Like, if you, you get one, is that a, is that a thing? Did it, did it look fancy like this? This looks like it's legit. Wow. Okay. This is the 24X Super Macro Lens. And I'm guessing you twist it off and get the 12x macro lens. Uh, uh, yep, 
macro lens 12x right there. I know you really can't see it, but my zoom is being retarded right now. Apologize for the language. Uh, okay, but macro scope lens 24x right there. This is very nice. Let's see if it works on my camera. No, it doesn't work. Anyway, all right, let's uh, cap this back off. It's, it's a it's a very solid plastic. The the lenses are made of metal and glass, of course, you know, as uh, as lenses will be. However, this scope is made of a very rigid plastic, extremely rigid plastic. I don't want to bend it. Uh, this this guy is made of a softer plastic, probably uh, HDPE. It's it's kind of kind of dense. Anyway, for digital camera and mobile phones lens, right there on the front. There you go. So we're gonna place this back. This is a nice solid foam on the inside to hold it all in place too. So don't don't ever don't ever doubt these guys. These guys know what they're doing. Okay, so single lens here. Okay, uh, again with the cap. Uh, Fish Islands. Oh wow, this is hefty. This has got some weight to it. Everything's squeaking now because it's brand new. And it's so clean. Squeak, squeak. All right. So with these guys and with these guys right here, they got this uh, textured, uh, machined textured surface, so you can uh, twist it or take the cap off. You can grip these. And it works as far as I could tell. So the fisheye lens also works. I can hold it up to my eye and see. These are very clear lenses, by the way. This is immaculate. It's probably clearer than my regular vision. I should probably wear these as glasses. I should probably not. But it's very dark inside too. Like there's a there's a dark ring, and that the that like reflects zero light. Pretty sure it absorbs light more than it reflects it. It's one of the darkest surfaces on Earth right now. All right. Okay, so right along the inside of what seems like both yep both lenses is a rubber ring, rubber or silicone. I'm not sure right now which, but a rubber O-ring, which is going to protect the back of your phone. So far, this this is a very lightweight. This is very very heavy. This is very heavy. So watch out for this one. Uh, if that rubber ring doesn't keep it on the phone and attached, and this doesn't provide enough pressure, then man, the thing's gonna fall off and it's gonna shatter. It'll hit the ground so hard. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test these out and post some pictures, uh, and then finish the review. Hey guys, so welcome back. I have taken the time to get some pictures with my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S6, and the uh, camera lenses. Now unfortunately, right now it is nighttime. It is pretty dark outside, and we just literally had a softball size hail falling from the skies. So unfortunately because it is dark I was not able to get any good pictures of the hail with this I would have done so. So what I'm gonna do right now is come over here and show you how this works. So snap it in. So it can be either the I'm using the 24x macro right now you can also use the 12x by screwing off not screwing off sorry do not screw off pay attention please um, or at least uh, yeah just like this duh. you know what I'm saying anyway uh, yeah so unscrewing the 24x lens will give you the 12x macro okay you can see how it looks like a bubble of water it's actually kinda cool anyway We'll demo the 12x, 24x here. 
with this lens and that holder. And this will be the fisheye lens, which we will demo with. Ah, come on. There we go. It takes a bit to get on, but because this is a flexible plastic, it's really easy to just move out of the way. I just seem to force it in the wrong way every single time. Anyway, so fisheye lens. We'll go ahead and test that one first, but it is adjustable in height all the way up and down. So wherever your camera lens may sit, that's where it's going to go. So on the ins on the back side of each of these lenses, th this one's a hefty one. This one's a really heavy one. Um, on the back side of each of the lenses is a rubber O-ring, which is supposed to protect the uh, glass around the around the camera lens. So why don't we just pop this on? This holds very well. All right, and we sit there and adjust it until it gets to the point where we are satisfied. And how you can tell is by looking at it. There we go. You can see bubble fish eye. All right. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So, again, like after adjusting it, it holds very well. No issues whatsoever. It may it well, okay, so I shifted it a little bit, but it's going to take a lot of force to to take that off. This has a lot of hold right here. So let's go ahead and put that cap back on. That was your fisheye lens. Turns out that the image is pretty clear. Pretty clear. Ah, uh, here we go. On. Down. Until we're satisfied. Alright. Look at both sides. Cool. We go. So you're going to notice this is the 12x or 24x. Sorry. So I'll just go ahead and use the box here. As let's flip this over. Shoot. Why not? Because cameras flip, right? So we're going to use the box right here. See how clear that is? Oh wow. Look at that. 12x, right? 24x super macro. And basically what the super macro lens has is a plastic guard. It's pretty pretty solid plastic guard, but that keeps a steady picture, a steady distance from the thing you're taking a picture of. Okay, so steady distance. That's the key there. Uh, let's go ahead and well, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to take this off here. There we go. So with this off, we get the 12x macro lens. To close all of that crap. All right. So the 12x macro. Ooh, this one's gonna be a little harder to maneuver. But once you have it in place, it's good to go, right? You can actually see through the lens, because it's only 12x, into the camera lens itself. So if it's off, you can see it. So you'll be able to gauge where you need to go based on what you see behind the lens. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Alright, so that having been said, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Here we go. And 12x macro to the rescue.
All right. I am about an inch away from the from the box, taking these picture or focusing on this. About an inch away. You can see it's pretty clear. I enjoy it. I I like macro shots. You can really get some good detail in with macros. All right. So Well, that's basically the three lenses. So let me talk a little bit about this. This is extremely lightweight. The 12X macro by itself is extremely lightweight. And since this is uh, the 24X macro has, macro lens is a screw on to the 12X and has a plastic guide, distance guide. I mean, the plastic is super lightweight. So this one, though it's got the metal, uh, the metal frame around the lens itself it's it's very lightweight but very strong in its hold so i'm very pleased with the with the macro lenses the fisheye lens is is very very heavy in in comparison uh you get a solid uh glass front uh cover lens you also get all the other glass inside it as well and so this becomes very heavy when you have all the supports inside. Well, this, though not one of my favorites, it's my favorite aesthetic-wise. The lens itself looks incredible. It's very, very pitch black. It does not reflect much light from the inside at all. So that that's kind of cool to me. I just like looking at that. So with that, I will go ahead and post some of the pictures that I've taken with the macro lens and the fish eye lens, and we'll call it call it good. I will post the rest of the review with those pictures. All right, guys, last little segment here, the final review. I really do like the idea of having smartphone lenses and though I'm not an avid photo I'm not I'm not even an avid photographer I'm not a professional photographer by any stretch of the imagination but what I do like to have is the opportunity to be able to carry around the item that I carry around all the time my phone when I go out and take pictures to be able to take wide shot pictures to be able to take really cool looking pictures fisheye from the ground like you turn the camera over like this take a fisheye photo of everything above the camera those turn out to be really cool especially when you have skyscrapers so you don't need a super fancy camera to get decent quality photos out there you just need a good set of lenses and this set of lenses covers just that so what I would have liked to have seen in in something like this, though it does cover a 12x and a 24x macro lens, I would have liked to have seen a 12x or a 24x, possibly just a 12x, and a wide-angle lens. If there was, say, the fisheye, the A macro lens of any sort above 10x, and a wide-angle that would have been great and that kind of coverage lets you have the versatility of okay so i don't need two macro lenses i'm not going to be taking microscopic shots i'm just going to be taking something up close like a bug or a nest or something very close that i want to focus a little detail on and then the wide angle shot for something very nice that's not panoramic i would definitely suggest getting one of these for you if you like taking pictures out uh, out and about and you like photography of any kind or if you're starting to learn photography but don't have enough money to get a nice like dslr camera I would definitely suggest something like this. I would suggest this one. If you do find other lenses, it may not even come as good a quality as you would find here for the price that you're gonna be paying. So for something about this quality, you're probably gonna be paying a bit more and your wallet's gonna suffer while you really don't benefit too much. So definitely pick up a set of these if you're looking at lenses. It's compact and it fits on your backpack or whatever you want. Look, it's the best of everything look at that three lenses right here and a carabiners and carabiner clips right to your bag boom done deal right 
and it's super lightweight, only a few ounces here. Like you're not going to notice that this was even on your bag except for it like flopping around hitting you if you have it like strapped on like I do. I normally strap it onto the front of my back. With that, definitely 4.5 out of 5. I would have liked to have seen a wide angle lens to kind of cover more styles of photography. But 4.5 out of 5. And really only because of the wide angle lens. Functionality wise, definitely 5 out of 5. I cannot stress it enough. It's a great quality item for a great price. So definitely check them out. If you got a few bucks, go ahead and get one for your phone. It works on darn near any phone out there. So any phone that's got a camera on it, and if you have the megapixels, you should be doing pretty well for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you don't think I covered something that I should have covered. Uh, I will take the time to read the comments and focus a little more on that the next time I do a review of an item. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I will see you guys in the next video.